I used to enjoy singing this too. And these days, I still sing it, but a little different. Because it reminds me now of the danger. Life is well. Anyway, you might want to sing this with me. Can we snap our fingers together as well? He put the boom boom into my heart. He set my soul sky high when your love is down. A jitterbug into my brain. It goes a bang, bang, bang till my feet do the same. But something's bugging you. Something ain't right. My best friend told me, what do you do?
So, from singing that song, can I assume that you like 80s music? Because tonight I won't be singing a few 80s songs. I'll be singing a lot of 80s songs. In a different way, perhaps, but still from that decade. And uh, I'll be singing 80s songs that I never even sang okay. during the 80s. Ganun kalakas ang Edmonton sa akin. And we're just warming up here. And you seem like such a fun crowd. I need to ask you to do it with me. Is that cool? You, you are going to know this song because everybody knows it was this song. No, 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 no. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been my theme song for all the audiences that I've ever performed for in the Philippines. And by the grace of God around the world, I just really can't smile without you. Thank you so much for being there for me all these years. And for the lady who was texting, Huligano. See what I'm going to fix. Oh. Oh, my honey, huh? Because, no, ladies and gentlemen, no, no, the Kada or Chen, the one up on my cell phone. Okay, do you And, no, come up on the phone. Ang, 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 how do you say it? Hindi. <laughs> no, I'm trying to say, in the 80s, people would come and they would watch you. Yeah. Diba? Nowadays, it's different. They're watching you through their cell phones. <laughs> Which is so weird, right? Yeah. So, huh? To keep the memory. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to stop you. I mean, you can do anything you want with your cell phones. If you take pictures, if you take video, I have to warn you. You have to tag me, okay? <laughs> Let's keep in touch. Follow me at Raymond Lachekos on Instagram, okay? Can you tag me? Okay. Otherwise, you see any videos on my video. Do, 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 do. You know. It's funny because, uh, oh, let me take a drink of water. Sweetheart, you're bored to death, huh? Who is that little child screaming? Why, why, why? Why, why? Why is Tito Raymond punishing me with all these 80s songs? Sorry, that was my son. Oh, that was your son? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Peter put this out. Peter was also instrumental in, uh, in bringing me over, so another big hand for Peter. And of course, uh, Bob Eden. When I, you know, I've come to, the, to a certain point in my life, because I am now 35. <laughs> no? He doesn't, you know, cannot, cannot pass. Super normal. What? Did you Google my age or something? What? You were my one. My wife is here, okay? But I'll meet, I'll meet you after the show. So, okay, okay, I'm not 35 anymore. I'm like 48. <laughs> you guys are terrible! Okay, okay, I'm... Forget it, forget it. Age is a number, right? Okay. Uh, I, okay, let me be diplomatic about it. I have reached a certain age where I can already look to where it all began. And, you know, it's just so clear to me that when I started, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Uh, it was just a tremendous blessing that God set me up with the right people who wrote me the right songs for the right label, etc., etc., etc. 
And all of that set me off on a career that I'm very, very proud to say has been, has been truly wonderful. And there have been starts and stops along the way. Uh, there have been times when I have had to retreat because things got perhaps a little too overwhelming for me. But singing is something that I, I would always go back to no matter what and no matter how long I stopped. And the reason all of this started is because of one song that changed my life. This was something that I recorded in 1982 when I was about five years old. <laughs> Okay, okay, I was 18 when I recorded this in 1982, and, uh, no, believe me, I was there, I was 18, now I'm 53, and I'm very proud of every single wrinkle, and every single white hair, and every subtle pass that I put on my back after I do a show because I am just so thankful for everything that God has blessed me with and the people He has blessed me with. And ladies and gentlemen, it all began with this next song.
for my funny new hat. He almost took out my eye, you know? <laughs> oh, tama na! Tama na! Pakasuma naman na yung buong mukha ko. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to say thank you to the people working so hard here in the middle. You see them? All right, uh, these are the people uh, controlling the lights. And this is Gary, who's doing the sound. How about a big hand for Gary? Yeah. Gary's my buddy. Huh? Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea who you are. Corey and sir. Will. Thank you so much. You weren't at rehearsals. Corey and Will. What are, what are you doing? You're doing the lighting. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey and Will. And uh, what's your name, sweetie? Andrea. What are you doing for us tonight? Oh, you're helping. Are they your parents? Oh, you're okay. Okay. And this is your brother? Your baby cousin, how sweet. They all, they all come together. And this is your bigger cousin. He's your brother. He's your boyfriend. Friend! You know, ladies and gentlemen, tonight uh, is the end of my little Canadian concert tour. We arrived on July 29th, Vancouver. Uh, our first show was, my first show was in Coquitlam. Lovely, lovely place, Coquitlam. I love saying that, Coquitlam. <laughs> With Joey Albert, we did a back-to-back -back concert. Did you, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that. <laughs> so, follow me, okay? So we can stay in touch. And then right after the show in Coquitlam, uh, I flew to Toronto, uh, another one of my favorite places for, for a wonderful show there. And then after Toronto, my family and I uh, flew to Montreal. Mainit. Napaka inip, pero napaka na Montreal. You know, I've been wanting to go to Montreal since 1976. Do you know why? That was the year that Canada hosted the Summer Olympics in Montreal. And that was the year 11-year-old Raymond Lauchenko fell in love with Nadia Comaneci, who won, who scored several perfect tens in Montreal. So my dream was I would go to Montreal with a bouquet of flowers and ask Nadia to marry me. <laughs> it finally happened 43 years later. Nadia was not there. But my wife was. <laughs> I see trees.
I was in the middle of Itza in a taxi. Mm -hmm. I was going home, it was about 11 o'clock in the evening because I came from rehearsals. I used to be a with repertory of Philippines. We used to do plays and musicals. On rehearsals, no one would start at about 8 and end at about you know, 11, 11.30. So one night I was on my way home in a taxi cab in the middle of Edsa and I hear the radio DJ say, okay ladies and gentlemen, here's this brand new singer with a song. I need you back. This is Raymond Lau Chang. And then they announced it. I got so thrilled at hearing my very first recording that I, I opened the windows and I started to shout, this is my song. This is my song. Of course there was nobody there. But thankfully, the song became a hit, and one thing led to another. Now, speaking of firsts, this next song that I'll be doing for you was the very first movie theme song. Ganyan ka na ba katanda na yung knowledge mo eh? Huh? What? Ano yung binubunong niya? Sir, sir, I'm just having fun with you. Thank you so much. He, he, he guessed it correct. Sir, what's your name? Ariel. Ladies and gentlemen, Ariel, my friend got it right. Saan darating ang manga? Very first theme song that I ever recorded. May story ako ang saan darating ang manga. Okay? I only found out. I only found out na ako yung magre-record nito one day before the recording. Okay? I was in college. I was already, we had already filmed about, siguro naka-apat na eksena na ako. And Bosbik calls me to uh, Viva, Viva Films. Bosbik was the owner of Viva Films. And he goes, oh, Raymond. I have good news for you, because tomorrow I want you to go to the recording studio because you are going to record the theme song of Saan Dala Di Kumana. I was like, wow, thank you. Wow, how wonderful, because, you know, I was in the movie, plus I get to do the theme song, right? I mean, how, how wonderful is that? And then he goes, pero kailangan kaligan mo. Ito na, kinabahan na ako. Kasi, there was a but. And, and he goes, because the composer of this song is George Canseco. It was at that moment that I could just feel my, my knees shaking, trembling, fear, because even then George Canseco was already a giant in the music industry. And I said, oh my God, tomorrow? You want me to do this tomorrow? Can't I do it next week? So I have time to study. No, 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 we have to do this tomorrow. I want you to go home and he gave me a study tape. Okay, cassette. How many of you remember cassettes? Raise your hands. Okay, those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, please leave. <laughs> cassettes, ladies and gentlemen. You remember cassettes? Do you remember? Okay, when we... When we wanted to save battery, how did we rewind our cassettes? With a pencil or a ball pen. Hindi lang siya cassette, noise maker pa. Diba? That is so cool about the 80s. I mean, try doing that now with your USB. Diba? Okay, anyway. So I got the cassette and I went straight to my car to plug it in the cassette player. Okay? Now, when you receive a study tape, the expectation of any singer is that contained in that tape is going to be somebody singing the lyrics of the song so that you can learn it, right? The other expectation of any reasonable singer is that you will hear some kind of instrument recorded no matter how roughly in that recording, maybe a piano, maybe a guitar, something to give you a hint of the melody, right? So that was my expectation. When I played it, guess what I heard? There was nobody singing. There was nobody playing the piano or the guitar. You know what I heard? I heard George Canseco 
whistling. Tinito niya po yung buong kanta. That's when I said, oh my God, I am never going to be able to learn this. So I resolved to go early the next day to the recording studio. I went there one hour early just so that I could learn it. And I walk into the studio and I see this, this giant figure of a man, George Kinsegna. I said, uh, good afternoon, uh, Sir George. My name is John Lloyd Cruz and I'm here too. <laughs> My name is Raymond and I'm here to record your song. And he looks at me and he says, ah, ikaw ba? O sige, iho, maupo ka muna kasi sinusulat ko pa. I was like, I just wanted to die, you know? But I'm glad I went through that experience. I'm glad that I went there unprepared. Because in my unpreparedness, I saw what real genius is. Would you believe that in 30 minutes, George Canseco comes back to me with a yellow pad and a complete song that he had written down. Completo na pala, in his head. He just had to write it down and perhaps fine-tune it. And he asked me to go inside the recording booth and made me sing it line by line until I learned it. I'll tell you a secret that I never told the people of Coquitlam or Toronto or Montreal. I hated the way that I recorded it. I never liked it. It became a hit. It became such a big hit. And every time I would hear it on the radio, I would cringe because I felt that I didn't do a good job because I, I learned it on the spot. So 20 years after I recorded it, guess what I did? I went back to the recording studio and I re-recorded it just to give justice to the greatness that George Canseco was. And I'd like to sing that for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, but I'd like to do it differently. I will not be singing it alone. I'll be singing it with someone who reminds me very much of myself when I was his age. I like to sing, but I was extremely shy. I was a boy soprano in a choir, but then puberty hit, and the next day I had no idea whether I was a tenor or a baritone. But ladies and gentlemen, I see a lot of similarities between myself and this guy, so would you please welcome back on stage to sing this with me, Anson Chuan. Let's do this.
So is it okay if I leave you for just maybe three or four minutes, change my clothes, Anson will cover for me, take care of you. While I'm gone, I'm just gonna run up there, over to Juliet's balcony, make a quick change, and when I come back, can we please do something that's really just out of this world and, and delve deep, dive deep into the 80s? Can we do that? Yeah. If you brought your dancing shoes, your 80s dancing shoes, it is time to change into them. Okay? I'll see you in just a few minutes. In the meantime, my friend Anson will take care of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Anson Chua. Get him, boy.
Then I'm going to go change, and if you like, uh, I can sign uh, your, your USBs if you like, or if you have pictures. And tomorrow we'll see each other again at Zhu Buchan. Zhu Buchan. That's what I said. You're just not hearing me very well. Okay. Yeah, Gary, can you make my, my voice a little brighter and clearer and louder? Because th this song has become part of the soundtrack of people's lives. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, that is the power of music. When you listen to a song that really means something to you, it'll take you back to a very, very special memory. Am I right? Yeah? So, since I'm really bad at saying goodbye, I won't. Instead, let me sing it. We used to be frightened and scared to try Things we don't really understand why Started to cry, we were crazy. Now that the end is already here, we dream and expect all tales and chants. Even if I lost her race, would never.
Oh, yung ano, best friends.